Welcome to another free tutorial brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. And in today's lesson, we're going to learn about combo boxes. We're going to build a value list combo box and a search combo box. What is a combo box? Well, a combo box is a combination of a text box and a list box. A text box you can type values into, and a list box you can pick from a list. So a combo box, if you click on that button there, gives you the best of both worlds. You can pick from a list, and that information goes into a text box. So this is what we're going to build in today's lesson. So before we begin, if you haven't watched my contact management template video, watch that video now, because that's what this lesson is based on, and download the free template. There's the address right there on my website, or I'll put a link in the description below the video. Grab that database real quick, because we're going to be working inside of that one. You can use this in any database that you want. You don't have to use mine if you don't want to. So here's the contact management database. It's real simple. It's a customer table. It's a contact table with contacts for each customer, which that's not really relevant for this lesson. All we really are going to work with today is the customer table and the customer form. Right, here's the customer, and here's some contacts for each customer down below in a subform. But for this lesson, all we're going to care about is the customer portion of it. So what I want to do is I want to make a combo box where I can pick this person's title, Mr., Miss, Mrs., and so on. All right, so the first thing I have to do is put a field in my customer table to hold that data. Because I can't just drop a, a combo box on the form without it having some place to store its information. Remember, forms are only for display purposes. So we're going to design our customer table here. And I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. And I'm going to add in here title. And that will be a short text field. Now, I like to keep stuff in order, so I'm going to click on this guy and drag it up top. Click and then drag it up top here and put it right in front of first name. Right, because that's usually where it goes, right? Title, first name, last name. You can put a suffix in there too if you want to, like junior, senior, whatever. I'm a junior, for example. So save this. Now you could, if you want to, come in here and type values in. That's the benefit of a, of a value list combo box. You can just type in whatever values you want also. But I'm going to close this, and I'm going to go over to my customer form. And now we're going to add a combo box to this customer form. So go into design view. And I'm going to put first name and last name on the same line here, like, the, like I did with city, state, and zip. Right? I'm going to delete one of these labels like that, delete. And I'm going to take last name. Just move it over here for a minute. I'm going to slide this down. And first name doesn't have to be that big. Maybe about that big. All right? And I'm going to go first, comma, last. Just like that. That'll tell the user what's going in there. Now we'll grab that box and we'll move it right back there. That's where the last name goes. Last names can sometimes be longer. So if you want to do something like this, you can. Right? You can make these as big or as little as you want. Now it's time to throw the combo box on here. So let's come up top here. Drop this down and find the combo box tool right there. And drop it right about there. Okay. Here's the combo box wizard. Now there's three options in here. Today we're going we're gonna to focus on the second two. We're going to ignore this first one. The first one says I want the combo box to get the values from another table or query. This involves relating two tables together. Like, for example, contacts and customers. I'm going to have another template, another video following this one, that will show you how to make a a combo box that has a list of customers in it that you can put on your contact form. That's going to be a different lesson. But for today, we're going to focus on I will type in the values that I want, which means you specify the list of options, which is good for something like this, like title. There's a limited number of options, and you're unlikely to change it in the future once you get your list set, right? Mr., Mrs., Miss, Doctor, whatever else, okay? And then a little bit later on, we're going to do the, the find a record in my form based on a value I select. But for right now, let's go with I will type in the values that I want. Next. Now, we want one column, a very simple box, and we'll start off with Mr., Mrs., and I'm just hitting the down arrow, down arrow, Miss, down arrow, and then let's throw in like Doctor, and whatever other ones you want in here. All right, next. Now, are we going to remember this value for later use, or we're going to store it in a field? We're going to store this value in a field. We put the field in our table already, remember? That field is title. So I'm going to pick a value from that list, and it's going to store it in the title field. Remember the value for later use is something we're not going to use that often until we get into programming, when we start having to like pick an option and then do some stuff with it. Next, what label would you like? Title. 
and then finish. And there's my combo box. All right, we'll do a little resizing here. And that's probably about big enough. I'll make it about the same size as the customer ID. Okay, save it. All right, let's save it, close it, and open it back up again. All right, Richard Ross, I'm going to pick Mr. Next, James Kirk, let's pick Mr. also. And Sue Jones, let's say, is a miss. Now, let's say Sue Jones wasn't a miss. Let's say Sue Jones was the Reverend Sue Jones. I can put in here Reverend, like that. You can put in whatever you want in, the, in a value list text box. If you want to add Reverend to the list of options... You can click on this little button right here where it says Edit List Items. Click on that, and you'll get this window up here. You can add Reverend to your list. You don't have to, right? This is just a list of stuff that shows up when you drop the box down, okay? And you can also set a default value. Which one of these is the default? I'll leave it blank because you don't know. Hit OK. And now Reverend will show up even if I go to a different record. See, there's Reverend. So you have the flexibility of typing in your values or picking them from a list. Now, this method has its pros and cons. If you're only planning on having this combo box in one spot in your database, then this is fine. But if you're planning on having multiple forms that use the same data, the same combo box, you may want to consider putting that data into a table and then making a relational combo box, which will be the next lesson. Plus, also, the data that stores in the table, you're going to have a lot of duplicated data in here. This could be better replaced with an ID from a title table. But again, that's going to be in the next lesson. And by the way, there are properties in this combo box that you can change. For example, double click on the box and it'll open up the property sheet. Here's the row source, there's your list of items. What I'm looking for right down here is limit to list. It says no. You can force your users to have to pick an item from that list if you don't want them typing in their own items. You can change that to yes. I like leaving it at no for now. Allow value list edits. That basically says that users are allowed to add things to that master list. If you don't want them adding things to the permanent list, then you can change that to no. You can also specify a list items edit form if you have a separate form for editing this list, which we're not going to get into that right now. But there's all kinds of things you can do with combo boxes. And again, I cover a lot more with combo boxes in my full classes. All right, so let's take a look at that second kind of combo box that I mentioned, the one we can use to search with. All right, so let's go up top here and grab a combo box and just drop it anywhere. Like right here is fine. Pick the find a record in my form based on the value I selected in my combo box. All right, hit next. Now, what do you want to show up in your combo box? I want to search for a particular customer based on their first and last name. So I'm going to go customer ID and then click that and bring that over here because customer ID is the actual value that we're searching for, right? The customer ID is the number that's unique to each customer, all right? But then I need to be able to see what I'm searching for in the box. So I'm going to go last name and then first name, okay? Next, this is what's going to look like when you drop the box down. You're going to see last name and then first name in that search box. All right, hide key column means it's just hiding that key column, that ID column. You don't need to see it. You don't want to see it in your box. All right, hit next. What label would you like for the combo box? Just leave it. We're going to delete it anyways, and then hit finish. All right, there's my little search box. So delete that label that it comes in with. And I'm going to put this little search box right up here next to that ID field, just like that. That's my search box. And if you want, give it a, give it a different color. Make it look different so that, you know, a training issue again. You can train your users and say, okay, all the green boxes are search boxes. All right, so let's see how this works. I'm going to close that. Save changes, yes. Let's reopen it. Okay. If you want to perform a search, just drop this box down and now pick Sue Jones. And boom, it goes right to Sue Jones. See that? Drop this down, go to Jim Kirk. Boom, and it goes right to Jim Kirk. See how that works? That's a quick little search box. See? That's it. That's, that's that simple. Of course, you can click here and hit Control F and find and all that stuff, but this is nice to have right on the form where you can just click on it and then go right to a record. So that's it. Now we know how to make a combo box to pick a title and search for a record. Now in, in the future class, I'm going to show you how to make this based on a table. In other words, this list of options in here will be a list that you get from a table. And the benefit of that is if you use it on multiple forms, you only have to change the data once. You don't have to change multiple 
combo boxes. We're going to create a title table where we have the list in here. And we're also going to have it so down here on our contact form, instead of saying one, this will actually show Rost, which is linked. It's related to the customer table. This is covered in my relational combo boxes template tutorial, which you can find on my website or on YouTube, and I'll put the link to it in the description below. Okay, so that's all for this lesson. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. You can find lots more templates on my website. There's the address right there. I'll put a link in the description below the video. If you want to download the template for this database, the one we just built in class, there is the address for it. I'll put this on the uh, description below too. XTCB is the link. If you want to learn more Microsoft Access, I've got a free beginner level one class. It's three hours long. There's the address. And again, links below. If you like level one, want to learn more, level two is just one dollar. There's a link for that. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment if you want, and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be adding lots more of these template videos in the near future. There's all my social stuff, blog, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Be sure to follow me. And, of course, if you have any questions, there's my personal email address. Feel free to drop me a line. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time.